All right, legal experts calling it absolutely unprecedented tomorrow's potential indictment and arrest of former President Trump. His supporters say it is the mother of all witch hunts. His critics say it's about time. But would Trump's arrest kill his presidential plans or only make him more popular? But Donald Trump himself has not commented at all. He has remained mum. <laughs> Just kidding. He hasn't stopped talking about it for three straight days. In one of many Truth Social posts, he said, quote, that was a nice ad at the end. About an hour ago, we learned law enforcement now expects an indictment next week. Either way, is this case a slam dunk or just more fake news? Let's meet tonight's party panel and suss it. We've got attorney and Republican strategist Alexandra Wilkes. Alexandra, I will start with you. Does the Thank DA you. have a strong case here? No, I think even the most avowed Trump haters have to admit that this is a dog of a case. She's love, she's love, she's in my head. You want to hear something that'll make you barf in your mouth a little? 20 years ago today, the war in Iraq began. Has it ended? After a few trillion dollars blown in the region, hundreds of thousands of Iraqis dead, 4,492 U.S. service members killed, along with 4,000 contractors, 33,000 wounded, and roughly 300,000 who have returned from service with PTSD since the start of the war, war. Rather, the pain is very much ongoing. Many former hawks have come to realize our reckless past policies have been unforgivably exploitative, and to question future conflict to avoid another Iraq is the only moral action, and that's the memo. Hello, welcome back to the news. President Biden now gaslighting Americans to distract from his family's shady paydays. On Friday, the president denied reports of his relatives receiving payments from Hunter Biden's associates. Watch. I kill. I ought to sell him, Hunter. Nah. Except for the part where it is true. In fact, Hunter Biden's legal team confirmed, confirmed it themselves. Writing, quote, Hunter Biden, a private citizen with every right to pursue his own business endeavors, joined several business partners in seeking a joint venture with a privately owned legitimate energy company in China. Privately owned. That's fun. Like any energy is privately owned in China. As part of that joint venture, Hunter received his portion of good faith seed funds. That's what we're calling it. Which he shared with his uncle, James Biden and Hallie Biden. So what else does the president know that he's not being honest about? The party panel is back. Alexander Wilkes, Juan Williams, and Spike Cohen. We, we have now an actual campaign that will take place in 2024, regardless mm. of who the Republican nominee yeah, is. Maybe, You're have an maybe Joe Biden will be president again have to answer and, for things. and give us more incoherent non-answers. I can't wait. Uh, Alex, Juan, and Spike, <laughs> beautifully done across the party panel. Thank you all so much. Take care, Kim. You too. Thank you. Meanwhile, Republican candidates are being targeted. It is time for another edition of Conspiracy Theories. This one is a doozy. Aliens may be deploying small probes that defy the laws of physics. The mothership may be in our solar system. He will find it. He's the guy. Topical Storm is next with a special St. Patrick's Day K-walking. Stay with me. Scientists have created a robot that can print materials inside your body, but it's still less painful than going to FedEx. That's an inside job, and this is a Topical Storm, topic number one. We begin with the new images of a star on the brink of self-destruction. And I'm not talking about Machine Gun Kelly. This is W... I spent St. Patrick's Day surrounded by drunks. And I'm not talking about the staff of this show. Friday, I went K-walking through the streets of Midtown Manhattan to see Irish eyes smiling. And with a little Irish luck, I got to march in the parade. For real, watch. We are a half a block away from the St. Patrick's Day parade. There's a lot of drunks. Let's go talk to them. Let's, yeah, go, let's, let's go, go. Let's, let's go. Let's do this. Go. What are we doing to celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Drinking. I'm in the parade. This is a dream come true. There 
There we go. Green beer and cultural appropriation. I love it. Hopefully I will see you at next year's parade. By the way, let's go Rangers. I'll be back with Mouth Trumpet Monday. Requests on Twitter. Bye. Oh, yeah. It's Mouth Trumpet Monday. Use the hashtag Mouth Trumpet Monday on Twitter. Here we go. That's right. Thanks so much for watching the best hour of your day. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram at Kennedy Nation, Facebook Kennedy FBN, email Kennedy FBN at foxbusiness.com tomorrow night on the show. Olivia Rondeau, Dr. Drew, and Marianne Williams. Can't watch the show? Can a DVR it? And I say make every day Canada Day. Why don't we do it together? Love you. Good night.